My name is Alex Gaines. I was a bit more conservative, I feel like. Um, I'm Jen Noyes, and I think I've honestly been the same person since I think I was always meant to be older. I mean, she was, she was running the showroom at the time where I was relaunching my brand. So that's how we actually met. I, I mean, I think we, we just became friends right we became away, friends. like yeah. immediately. It's about the personality fit and about the chemistry and how well you have that understanding with each other without actually having to say it. And that's, we had that immediately. And I think that is what really made it. Everybody thinks we've known each other forever. forever. And we've known each other for a few years. Yeah. But we are really like sisters, and it's as if we've known each other forever. So it's true. It's weird. It is weird. Like the other t-shirt. And what was interesting for us, and we kept on gravitating towards, was the fact that there was this gaping hole, and what was missing was very clear to us, in that you could find things at something that's so simple and beautiful and easy and what you call an updated basic in a designer market. But you don't get those same basics with that same craftsmanship and quality in a contemporary market. And it, it is about those finer, those simple details, and you just really don't see that. And it doesn't really make sense that you can't have those basics in something that at a reasonable price point because it's considered a basic that you're supposed to have over a lifetime. Because as consumers, that's what we wanted. We thought it should be accessible. And if, if two people who are seeing it in two very different lights see it as, you're right, that is something that, you know, you're always missing, then we kind of knew that the more we explored into it and the more people that we spoke to, and it, it made sense. Actually, each season, look at it from our own perspective of what we want to wear for that season, and also we're always trying to... Um, to improve on or, or create those perfect essentials. So we wear everything and then we figure out what's working, what's not working. Yeah. I think the one thing that we're always trying to consider is what works on different body types so that yeah. we make sure to, um, to reach you know, lots of women and not just one woman, um, but with the same mentality, mm -hmm. with, with our own similar mentality, because we feel like we're onto something because our friends have been wanting these things and yeah. Even editors and buyers that come in, like they're they're drawn to this um, effortless kind of easy wardrobe. So it's just trying to make sure we can fit different women too in different body types. Yeah. And we talk about it all the time in terms of like who do you dress for, and I think that's where it kind of stems from. Whether a woman dresses for her, for other people and who those other people might be. If if like and when you talk to other women who are really comfortable with themselves and you ask them like who they dress for, a lot of them do turn around and say, for myself, if yeah. it feels good to me and if I feel good, then it, it doesn't matter. It's like when we Confidence talk about like, is yeah. Sexy. I think it's, seeing our clothes and like on real people. Yeah, or, or knowing they're on yeah, real people. Like, like I, just knowing that or seeing a photo somewhere of someone wearing it or even if it's an Instagram post and someone reposts it or it's, I don't know, we're in a bubble. So it's, it's always so nice. I mean, it, it's definitely, of course, hard at times and there's lots of pressure and challenges, but I can't imagine not getting to do this, and I think we all feel that way.